going on? This is Billy B from BillyEmpire.com, and we are focusing on uh, workers that are turning into bosses. And today we are here today with one of my good friends, one of alumni, Parkside alum, uh, Miss Tamara. We are in her establishment, and hello, how are you? I am well. Um, so, since I've known you, I've known you for quite a long time, I always know you've been a fashionable, fashionable person, and you've always been in tune with fashion, so how did Distinctive Designs uh, get started? Ooh, um, I was getting ready to have a birthday party, and um, I needed some earrings, and I reached out to a local designer who had been making like leather earrings, and she didn't get back with me. Mm -hmm. um, so my grandmother at the time had, was getting ready to throw these leather coats away, and I was like, shit, I might as well try it. Mm -hmm. So I cut the leather coat up, I made me some earrings, and the rest was history. Okay, okay. Now, before you got into entrepreneurship, what were you, what were you doing? Always been a hustler. You always been a hustler. Always. You didn't work nine to five. You just you I've, came back. I've, I've worked nine to fives, but I've not consistently worked nine to fives. I've always broke away and done something mm. um, entrepreneur wise. Okay. Um, for example, when I graduated from Parkside, I needed a car, so mm. I've always cooked. So I sold dinners every Friday for about a month and a half and bought me a car cash. So the delicious bites kind of always been around. Okay. Playing in now, the back. Now, hold on, now See, I, I switched it up on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't try to switch it up on you, but. You just glazing on us with the businesses real quick. You like you just switched from distinctive designs and you went to your other endeavor, which is called. That's dope. Pretty. That's dope, though. So you have. So what else do you do? What else? So what let me let me tell you a little bit about okay. me. Yes, I am Tamira White. Mm -hmm. Um, I am, of course, as Billy B said, a University of Wisconsin Parkside alumni. Um, I am married. I've been married November 19th. I make 15 years. Um, I have one 13 year old son and I currently have two businesses. Well, three, two that we'll talk about today. Three is still, it's in, it's in the branding stages, but I am owner of distinctive designs by Tamira. Um, I design custom accessories and apparel. Um, distinctive design started off with primarily leather earrings and then as I grew, my inventory grew. Um, it grew from leather earrings to beaded earrings, then to necklaces. Um, I make leather bow ties and leather handbags, and I do all kinds of amazing things with denim and leather um, in terms of upcycling and repurposing. I also sell some amazing frames, shades, and I added fedoras to our collection a few years ago, and they're still rolling. Hey, that's dope. That's dope. I've been seeing her do her thing, and uh, you know, the real, one of the reasons I I had to come talk to you because I see you working real hard, you're real diligent, and I'm sure that you have some words of encouragement for those that sitting at home that will be watching this and say like, "That's my. I went to school with her. I went. I uh, I want to do something like that. Like, what what gave you the the um, courage to say, hey, I'm not finna do the rational thing of going to get a job. I'm finna put everything on my back and and do this business myself and do something that I love to do. So what what was like, was it something that you grew up, um, it, it was instilled in you or was it something that you just like, something just clicked one day, you like, you know what, I'm finna do this for myself or well, what's the story on that? I would say it's a combination. Um, I grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. My grandmother had a record label. She owned several restaurants. So cooking kind of was second nature. Like people be like Chef Tamara. And I'm like, well, I'm not a trained chef. They're like, yes, you are. You've been cooking since, you know, I waited tables when I was 11. So I've been working since I was 11, um, waiting tables. And then I started working other odd jobs, you know, at the Boys and Girls Club and the grocery store like most of us. But um, I've always done things on the side, whether it be hair, um, whether it was fashion and then starting to create the jewelry and upcycling the clothing. Um, and then the Delicious Bites came around. Um, Delicious Bites was really random coming around though. 
Um, we were living in Houston and times are kind of hard. My kid's birthday was coming up. I needed to make him some cupcakes. I'm like, you know, we gonna have this party, but I ain't got money. I could pull together all the creative activities, but I ain't had no money to buy cupcakes. I had enough money to get ingredients. Mm -hmm. I had a nice KitchenAid mixer. I whipped up some lemon cupcakes mm -hmm. and from then we've been making cupcakes. And so it's one or the other. My thing with, I guess, doing the business is, I guess, just do it. You know, people always say, just do it. Mm -hmm. um, start with what you have. Like when I think about the earrings, the earrings was kind of a fluke. Like I wanted some earrings. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I could make earrings. I'm just like, she not calling me back. My party coming up. She can do it, I can do it. Mm -hmm. So I made me some earrings and then I took some to work and my coworkers started to buy them. And then I came up with a name and it's been, I had distinctive so designs for over 10 years. <laughs>